Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and for some reason, there are droids in, in this build. Why? Why do I have that set? Um, anyway, it's 9 kilometers, um, or 9 point whatever kilometers away. Not going to worry about it at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to join this to this. Um, also... I cannot get into the game where I've made, uh, I've finished this. Um, you'll notice that, well, you may or may not notice from the last video that the sections that come off of this center hub here, they go up to into this section and all the coloring that I did, it's all gone. Um, also, I think I'm going to have to do something that was suggested to me, which is get rid of all of this stuff here because of the fact that it is going to be causing me the most lag out of everything that's going on. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just absolutely crazy. Um, but that said, we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to try to attach this to this. Um, and the way we're going to do that, well, first off, what we got to do is we got to come into here. We need to get our 400 arc. See if it'll even let me place a 400 arc. Um, this would be, let's see here. We want to do this. And then we want to go ahead and bring it down and get really close to us. Just right in our face. Right there. And you'll see it's going to pulse up and down because there's no way this thing is going to post correctly. So now we just need to go down here, get right up to here, and X. There we go. So now this should be pretty easy. Just come over to here. And we just need to figure out the... Well, actually, that is the way we want it. To be there it is all right so we need to bring this rotor that I have set up down here out all the way to the edge here and we're gonna count how many oh geez I lost my my uh, way okay there we go <laughs> so easy to get get uh turned around in this this is the way we need to be facing all right so we're going to take into consideration that there's three blocks down and we're going to take this all the way out to the edge or to to that point out there let's go ahead and do that and try to get into this plane here and make it a whole lot easier maybe maybe i'll uh, you still have to compensate for going up and down and i'm probably gonna have to put it every hundred uh, blocks if it lets me put more than that that's amazing if it doesn't then oh too bad <laughs> oh 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 don't lose it don't lose it uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, boom. That is... That is a um, complicated situation right there. And... Are you gonna, nope. 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 Go back. Go back. <laughs> hundred. Whoa. Really? Wait a minute. I think I know how to fix this. I think I know how to fix it. Alright, so this is set at 30 degrees, which is what the Death Star is actually set at. The, the laser is set at 30 degrees. Let's go ahead and come into here. Go to the rotor. And so this is set at 30, negative 30 degrees. We want to set this at negative 30 degrees. It should lock it in. It's going to bounce a little bit, but at least it's it's going to be kind of dead on. Alright. Actually, could increase the torque or the strength. Something like that. That way it's super powerful and it'll 
completely destroy itself if <laughs> if we ever um, come back into this game after being gone for a while. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save. So we're 100 blocks plus 3. Oh boy. That was probably a bad idea. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. World saved. So this is this is my question is is this going to be 400 blocks to get to the to the edge of this thing? Actually, this can we come into here and just go? Nope, <laughs> we're still gonna be. Oh boy, I hate I hate this portion. Ah. All right, just let's go with the flow. Yeah, so. Just getting this thing attached is going to be absolutely crazy. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I hate losing this thing. Let's get a little bit closer. I think the problem is, is that as I move out, I guess I'm facing a certain direction that it's pushing me out away from this. And we are... 200. Noted. 200... All right. Sorry, 203 to be exact for all those math people out there. Let's go ahead and continue on. Yeah, the the few things that I've been having problems with is number one, I can't even get into the save where the dish is at. Number two, if I could get into the save where the dish is at, could I even get into this world? Number three, if I get this thing done or get this thing attached, will it even let me back into this world <laughs> once we're done with it? Um, it, it seems that we'll, we have conundrums that we're going to have to deal with. Um, wait, wait a minute, was that, was that 300? I think we just passed 300, right? Okay, there we are. That was 97. Was that 300? Oh my goodness, I lost track. Was that 300, guys? Oh my goodness. 97. I think that was 397. Plus 3, that's 400 blocks. Alright. So... Now, what we gotta do is we need to figure a way to count out. Okay, so let's see. Um, press M on this until we get. Actually, it was correct with the red. And then we're gonna press um, N now. Is that traveling? Okay, yeah. Now this has to go to 90. Right? We're close. There it is, 90. All right. Is this moving? It's not moving. So then, we now need to come out this way till it meets up with this again. Okay, good. Okay, maybe we need to keep going on this front just because it's not going to be the same on either side. All right. Maybe I just need to come up here and double check what's going on. Alright, so let's go ahead and press N. That way it's not doing anything anymore. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. 
cut that out. It should be fun if this is act if I actually did this correctly. <laughs> if I didn't, then we're gonna have problems. All right, so this is passing through this. All right, now it's detached. Press X. And my friends, this is the size of the dish. <laughs> All right. So what we need to do now is we're going to go ahead and de we're going to detach this. We're going to go ahead and, um, there we go, press X on that, X on that. All right. Now then, um, wait a minute, please tell me I'm, okay, yeah, it's like, Please tell me I'm moving, <laughs> not this thing. If this thing was moving, uh, it's over. <laughs> All right, so now then, we have the space for this. We probably should clean it up a little bit, make sure that it is exactly, give it a little bit of room, because once we place this, it is not gonna, uh, it's not gonna be friendly for us. So I'm gonna say, bring it down there, cut this out. And then, uh, oh geez, I get lost in this. Where am I? Where, who am I? Where, where is everybody? <laughs> okay. This is the direction I need to look up there. Oh my goodness. I, you can get discombobulated pretty easily in this game. Especially when you're doing things like this. All right, so all we're going to do is shave off one more here. All right, so. 209 blocks we have to remove. Um, actually, I'm going to make it 208. 208. By the way, I'm, I'm writing everything down as, as we go along. All right, so that means we need to find that bar right there. We're going to go ahead and break this, uh, come all the way back to 108 blocks. Okay. We'll do it 100 at a time. Because I think um, last time I crashed, actually, save. I'm, I don't I don't mind restarting this <laughs> or restarting this um, going down this bar just because of the fact that I do not want to lose the progress I have already I've, I've had to redo a lot of things so many times <laughs> during this process so far once the dish is in we just have to build around it and uh, that's that's where I think the easy part is going to be so this is we'll just take it to 209 I guess Or 208, was it? Two, three, four, five. Eight. All right. Now we just need to come over one block. Let me see how that looks. Oh. Let's see how this looks down here. Um... Alright, so if I come over one block, is it actually coming over one actual block? Or is it coming over as... Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Oh, so I need to come over two blocks. Okay, two blocks. Oh, wait a minute. My... Oh... I need to definitely make sure I'm doing this um, on the right angle. Alright, so we're coming out this way. Need to make sure that we're going in this way and not, say, another way. 
Okay, come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, see, I was going the wrong way on that, on that two, on that one block there. So, we're going to come out two blocks this way. All right. Fun time. Safe. Just something I gotta keep doing. Just wanna make sure that we don't <laughs> lose all this progress. By the way, uh, this is not the completed version, so... Oh, jeez. This just feels... Feels interesting. This is gonna be a thing. <laughs> Alright, so... Um... What we're gonna do is... This is what? It's five, right? We just go across here. And then go across here. And this is where we want it to be. Um, I just need to have a snapping tool. So I'll put one there. So if I do this right, if I place it the way I want it to, uh, then this should be on the outside edge. This should make the the third or the fourth block out. We'll see. We'll see if it works the way I'm thinking it will. So let's go ahead and press Control X. <sighs> now we just have to wait for a minute. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back now. Um, you can, I don't know if, well, you can't see, but I can see that we are now at 120 frames per second because we took that out of the world. <laughs> We're now about to place it back into the world. So what, what I was meaning by that, that marker is that marker should go on this side right here. Uh, let's go ahead and press V. <laughs> Again, it's probably going to take a second. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut until it's, it's in the game. So I'll be right back. I'm in spectator mode now. Um, I placed it. I, I can't move my mouse or anything. You hear the click right there. <laughs> this is true lag for you guys. This is how, how lag should be. Also, I think one of the coolest things about this this picture that you can see right here, because that's pretty much what it is, is how you can actually see every line of every block in inside of this mesh. Uh, I, I think that's a really cool look. Uh, I wish there was a way that we could just have frames of... I mean, I okay, first off, I understand how Space Engineers works. Wait a minute, can I move? Can't move yet. Um, so I, I understand that you can grind down a block. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that I wish there was an actual wireframe uh, work that you could do that looked like that. So whenever you pieced several pieces together, instead of it being an individual block, it converted to, say, uh, one individual two blocks, if that makes any sense. Does that make sense to you guys? No? Yeah. I, I kind of figured. <laughs> okay, guys. So, it is not going to be possible for me to add the dish onto this. I think what it's what's happening, because it is crashing every time I try it, is that you're dealing with um, adding in something that has over, I think it was last time I checked, 250 to 300,000 blocks um, that... Uh, attaching it to a rotor uh, inside of a world that already has a massive geometrical shape inside of it. I think all that combined is just not allowing me to add um, the death ray to it. That said, I am going to continue on with building the Death Star. I, I completely paused building it because I wanted to get the death ray looking correct. So... That said, uh, the next thing I'm going to do from, from here on out is just work on getting this done. Uh, I'm going to put a, a, um, a faux um, 
dish around uh, at that goes between those two points still at that 30 degree angle and hopefully whenever I'm done it will actually have the appearance of the Death Star now getting all the inner workings I, I don't think it's going to be possible just because of the fact that um, everything that you need to do to that relates to the Death Star is dealing with geometrical shapes and the mass of this thing once it gets done once i do the outside layer once i do all the floors once i do all the trenches once i do all of the um antennas the turrets all of that on it i i may not even be able to get to that point so i'm going to do as much as i can i'll keep you guys updated if you guys have any questions if you have any other options maybe that would help me uh, definitely let me know and i will i'll try to i'll try them out i i really want this to work i want to have a fully not functioning so much but a fully operational death star that at least uh if you did a cutaway of it it looked like the cutaway that you see of the death star in a lot of pictures by the way this is uop he is my little robot that i made that allows me to do some recording sometimes and i thought i'd go ahead and show it to you uh, he's a little cute little guy um he has only one thruster in all directions except for forward uh, probably should actually remove one and I could probably add more stuff into it like um, another um, motor another reactor but anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed I know we didn't really get to do too much today but um, let me know let me know what you guys think I'll talk to you guys later this is Cypher Deck peace out mm -hmm.